Hey guys, this is Daniel Dr. D and we're back with another video. And uh, I thought it would be really cool to compare the Shit Vidar 2 to these Jeff Roland M20, M125 uh, mono amps. Now each amp can work, you can do it as a single or if you want to do mono. And uh, we did a lot of comparisons and tests at the same volume levels, etc. These put out, if you were to go just single amp, you're looking at a, a 125 watts per channel into 8 ohms. If you go in mono, it jumps up to 500 watts per channel at 8 ohms. And uh, I, I believe the same as applies for a 4 ohm uh, as well. The Shit Vite R2 is, uh, this one plays at 100 watts per channel uh, at um, 8 ohms. And... Uh, I believe if you were to go into uh, four ohm speakers, it jumps to uh, 200 watts a channel. Uh, so here's what we did. We first did a comparison listening to the uh, Jeff Rollins, okay, in mono. And we went from mono to single. And it's very difficult. I'll get into the differences between how the two amps sound, but it's very difficult to tell the difference between mono and a single as stereo. Now on the preamp, which I don't see any number on the meter here right now, but on this preamp stage down below, there's a number readout display that comes up. If we do them in mono, we set the, the, the volume at 40 and with a single, unit in stereo um we had to jump the volume up to number 46 and i think on the vidar what do we have it at 46 45 something like that i think it was the same uh, actually i think it may have been 47 i think it was at 47 possibly but it was close so to do a fair comparison between the vidar 2 and a single jeff roland in uh, stereo I sat and listened we have open baffle speakers here with stereo subs okay 18 inch the audio drivers and whatnot uh, with the Don Sax preamp the ret super rectifier and the uh, space tech lab um, DAC here so the sound in my opinion I think Bob and I both agreed pretty much on you, you definitely can hear more space and more information. Like if you listen to saxophone with jazz, there's just more air, there's more separation. Um, the bass sounds similar. You know, the bass in the Vidar and both the, the Rollins, they, they both put out probably an equal amount of bass. But where things start to change, it's with these Rollins is I think the, the amount of detail, the amount of information that comes out of these things and the air and the space, it just has that holographic, it just elevates it. That sax just has its more beautiful sound. You can hear the, every, you can hear all the decay. You can hear everything coming from the sax. The Vitar is surprisingly a great value, but I feel like you just don't get the same amount of information coming out of it. Um, you know, if you didn't have anything to compare, right, you're not going to really know, you know, you're going to be very satisfied. And honestly, I'm quite happy with the Vidar. But, you know, this is, these are more expensive amplifiers. You expect, you, you would expect more out of them. So, you know, you definitely get your money's worth. And I see where OCD Mikey was going, you know, really likes this product. I mean, these things are only eight pounds a piece. They're very small. This is 22 pounds. This is 16 pounds for these two units. They're lighter than this one Vidar alone, you know? But if you wanna go, at least from what we're getting from these efficient speakers here that run at four ohms, um, a single is fine. I think we're gonna be happy with using a single amplifier versus mono. Uh, you definitely get gobs of power when you go, um, you know, mono with these things. Bob, is there anything you want to add that you might want to say or anything I missed out possibly? Did I cover everything? I think we've covered everything. So 
I have to agree with OCD Mike. These things are just on another playing field and remove all doubt factor kind of amp, you know, if you don't want to play games or anything, you just want to go nuts out, man. This is, these things are just incredibly good and will compete with any tube amplifier, in my opinion. And uh, they, they just have a really silky, beautiful sound to them. All right, guys, we'll be back to you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you. 